Finding the right pair of running shoes can be tough with all the options out there today. So we're here at Top to Top with Garrett Hamilton, who's going to give us some tips on how to find your perfect soulmate. He's going to break down the basics and show us how to find the right level of foot support. Obviously, the shape of your foot matters, but when faced with a wall of shoe options, what's the most important thing to look for? We can look at a couple of different shapes of shoes. Um, first of all, if you have a wider foot, you're going to be looking at Asics, Mizuno, and Saucony. For feet that run narrower all the way through, we're looking at Nike, New Balance, and Brooks. We hear the word pronate a lot when referring to running. What exactly does that mean? Well, to pronate means after we strike, when our full foot becomes flat from heel to forefoot touching the ground. Most people, about 90% of the population, actually overpronate. So if we look at this rocking motion here with your ankle and your arches collapsing, it tells me that you do have some overpronation going on. We do want a moderate stability shoe just to lift you to this neutral position here. So does overpronation itself cause injury? It can, but by finding the proper running shoe out there, we can all fix our type of overpronation. We all overpronate at different degrees. When dealing with a running shoe, you've got three different types. You've got neutral, stability, and motion control. A stability shoe is going to have a medium amount of support right here in the midsole of the shoe. It's a grayer tint that tells you that it has a more dense material to stop pronation. Neutral meaning it has no pronation support at all. Motion control meaning it has the most amount of support. It's also important to have a shoe with a mesh upper, such as this one here. It provides ample breathability, also keeps your feet dry and blister free. So we've talked about the sole and what we need on the outside of the shoe. What about the inside of the shoe? The inside of the shoe is always going to come with a manufacturer insert. Don't be fooled by feeling the insert and believing that you might need more cushioning. This insert that comes with the shoe is the best possible insert for this shoe. Now is that because all the cushioning and support you get should be from the sole? That's exactly correct, in the midsole of the shoe right here. Alright, so let's get me fitted. Although a runner might know their shoe size, we always want to go ahead and size the runner each time they are fitted for shoes. Feet can change over time. Why do we want to size a runner half size up? We always want to make sure that there's ample room in the forefoot so the runner has enough room for their foot to expand. Okay. We do not want their foot to be touching the forefoot of the shoe, causing blisters. You want to go ahead and generally lace your shoes up, not too tight, just pulling the laces until they stop. We want to give the foot room to expand inside the shoe. Make sure your feet are not slipping out in any way, that there are not any hot spots, basically any areas of the shoe that are irritating your feet. Okay. We want to make sure that we check the tip of your shoe here, that your toe is not touching the end. These feel great. I can definitely feel more support. Awesome. Less pronation. My ankles feel really good. I mean, I think it's safe to say that finding the right running shoe is definitely an investment, but it's worth it. So you want to splurge on something with the right level of support, regardless of color, style, or brand. Happy running, and see you next time on Fit Sugar TV.